Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and whatnot. All my links will be in the description below. Um, but today we have a super special video. If you couldn't tell by the title or, you know, this little polka dot box. Um, today we're going to be doing a collab video with my good friend Lindsay over at Lindsay Clark. Um, I'm sure most of you guys already know her. She always does amazing designer unboxings and she's been switching it up some and doing some denim and some fun and some scarves and all that fun stuff. Um, but it was awesome. We both got our hands on um, a DIY at the same restock. So this will be like a battle of the box to see who got the better one. Um, I only know one thing. She did open hers first. She did. She told me about one piece that she got and that is it. Besides that one piece, I have no idea. Um, I'm hoping we both get good boxes um, and you'll have to let us know who do you think got the better box. So um, if I'm not sure if she said or if I'm supposed to say, but we both got our boxes from Phoenix, Arizona, which is surprising. Most of my boxes usually come from um, Georgia, which I don't mind because I love Georgia boxes, but this one came from Arizona. So we'll have to see what Arizona did for me. Um, we ordered these on August 21st. These boxes are $48. Um, I do believe I did pay shipping on this. So I did pay, um, I think I want to say like $62 shipped for this box. Right around there. I think they're usually $58. So with um, $10 tax or $10 shipping and then plus tax, um, it comes out to me, I think about $62. All right. Um, it's a really long bag. I see an inklet. I see some um, new tags, American Eagle. I see some really pretty tiger's eye right here. That looks interesting. Um, I see some abalone bangle. Ooh, I see uh, some faux turquoise. So yeah, this looks like a pretty fun little lot. Um, I see a ring. Kind of looks like pure vita. I'm going to go ahead and pause, take a couple thumbnail pictures, and I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and took a couple pictures from my thumbnail. Let's get into it. Let me find an opening. I think this is it right here. And we'll just going to take this. Um, of course, we're looking for name brands such as Kendra Scott, Brighton, you know, the usual. Kate Spade. Um, but we're also looking for um, precious metals such as sterling silver, gold, of course. Um... But honestly, anything as long as it is sellable. That is the goal, is to be able to sell these items to make a profit. Um, so I'm going to put it right here. And let's pull out some things. These remind me of anthropology big time. Um, and I actually did get an anthropology necklace very similar to this in a previous thread up box. So maybe that's anthropology. I don't know. Um, we have some really pretty earrings. This one reminds me of Kendra, but I do not believe it is. Also, guys, um, don't forget to head over to Lindsay's channel after you watch mine. Um, make sure you go and subscribe. Make sure you go and watch her video. Let us know in both of the comments um, who you think got the better box. Um, but yeah, Lindsay does some awesome videos over on her channel. Like I said, she does a lot of like designer um, unboxings. This is so pretty. This reminds me of like a Chloe and Isabel or a Stella and Dot. Don't see any maker's marks, but that one's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, she does some really awesome videos. Like I said, she does designer um, and she's been doing a lot of the clothing boxes recently. So make sure to go and head over to her channel. All right, this is tarnished and I don't see any maker's mark, so it is cracked. All right, let's see. Oh, guys, this is stunning. This is marked. This is marked Alex and Ani, which this is so not an Alex and Ani bracelet, but look how stunning this is. Isn't that gorgeous? 
look at those like orange and yellow and amber and EB coated rhinestones. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And it is a clamper. It opens right in the middle. And I bet this is a good one. I would have never thought this was going to be Alex and Ani. That's gorgeous. That's our first winner. All right, we have the matching earring. This one's really pretty. Little leaf. All right, so we have a no name little bracelet. We have a magnetic bracelet and it's broken, so it's cracked. Um, we have this earring. It's pretty. All right, so we have these earrings. We have these hoops. Looks like a lot of earrings. We have those hoops. We have, let's see, we have these hoops. So very heavy handed on the earrings, it looks like. Um, we have this little like resin acrylic earring with a druzy topper. No maker's marks. Kind of reminds me of like um, a bobble bar or sugar fix kind of thing. All right. This feels like acrylic. Let's see. Yeah. So it's like a bunch of strands of like these black acrylic beads. I'm not sure what to do with that. Okay. We have this. Ooh, we have a ring. Ooh, I see silver. I see. <gasps> Y'all, shut the front door. Shut the front door. Y'all. Y'all. I am literally shaking. Hold on. Do you see what that says? That says Tiffany and Co. We have a Tiffany 925 little necklace. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's real. Well, we will test it. But it looks like a little smiley face. It's like a curved line reminds me of like a smile with little dimples um but yeah this is marked let me find the marking it is marked tiffany and co tiffany co all right let's test this right now because i can't wait to, to do this at the end um i'm too curious oh please let this be real <laughs> i'm like please 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 all right Let's pull out my 925 silver acid and we're going to we're gonna test it in a couple places. We're gonna test the chain, the pendant, and the clasp. And we're gonna do the clasp. And I'm gonna use the um JSP 18K acid. Which is what I use to test my sterling. Y'all, we have sterling. All three spots tested for sterling. So I would say this is like 99% real. I'm like 99% sure this is real. So there is a knot. But we got Tiffany, 925 silver Tiffany necklace. Yes. Okay. Um, so I don't want to say we're winning, but um, Lindsay beat that. <laughs> um, this reminds me of a Kate Spade. I don't see any maker's mark. Um, that's pretty. But yeah, Lindsay um, beat that. <laughs> no, I hope she gets a really good box too. Maybe we both got Tiffany. Maybe she didn't tell me um, what the best piece was. Maybe she was like, I'm going to tell him when he watches it. Um... But I do know she did get one sterling item. Um, this is marked 925. It's a little lightning bolt. has a gold vermeil or gold vermeil. We'll put that to the side and test that later. Um, we do have a... Okay, it's not broken. I thought it was broken at first. No maker's mark. Just keep an eye out for these end caps. Usually they're silver, but these ones are not this time. Um, and it's like one of those, oh, what is it called when it dangles in the front? It's long. 
kind of like a bolo style. Can't think of the name of that though. Maybe that's called a bolo style. I don't know. Um, really pretty seed bead chandelier earring. And we have a little hang tag. There's nothing on it. Okay, so this is a little unbranded um, four layer little dangle necklace. It's a good piece for style. Man, I hope we get more <laughs> sterling. Specifically, to, ooh, 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 is this gold? Ooh, what is this? It's not gold. I can tell you that right now. Um, it is Mart Luna Nort, which I believe they sell that at Anthropology. Um, it actually does resell quite well. Not Anthropology. Um, I think they sell it at a lot of TJ Maxx. Um, and this looks like it could be a moonstone or a quartz. Really pretty little Luna Nort necklace and they do use real gemstones um and stones so that is probably a real piece oh and we got the match this gorgeous earring hopefully i can google lens this and i will put it up on the screen gorgeous all right we have like this cool one this one matches the turquoise one we did get the match to this one. Oh look we just found the clear one um i found a piece of Dr faux druzy we have a door knocker. We have a gorgeous tassel that is missing. Oh, we have two of them. They are missing their ear hooks. So hopefully I can put some ear hooks on those. I should probably order some ear hooks. I think I used most of the ones I have. Oh, this is cold. This is very cold to the touch. So this could be an onyx or obsidian. Nice. All right, I think that is enough. Oh, I see an evil eye. These could be sterling beads too. So we have glass evil eyes with AB um, crystal and these like um, silver cube beads that we will test. And then we also have a bracelet that has a fleur de lis on one side and it says strength on the other. And I'm not sure what these beads are sure those beads are we'll have to look into that um also guys this is the first time i'm wearing this gorgeous sodalite ring that i bought off whatnot so love it and it's adjustable but it's sterling it's so hard to find sterling adjustable rings um this is mart pure vita what did i say i know my pure vita so this little pure vita ring super cute it will sell this looks like 925 these are marked 925, so we will test those as well. All right, that broke. That's going to go craft. We have a broken piece. Ooh, it's a jelly belly. Look at that, like a moon glow. Stunning. Put that to the side to figure out what that went to. Ooh, this looks like a Kendra Scott earring. I do not see a mark. But this it looks very similar to a Kendra Scott piece that I've gotten in the past. So we will see on that. That could be Kendra Scott. This is a really cool earring. No maker's marks, but that's really fun. All right. I need to keep it moving. I'm too slow. This is definitely a Kendra Scott piece. Oh, it's Mart. It's Mart Kendra Scott. Guys, it is marked so discreetly. It is marked on the back side up here, and it's marked Kendra Scott. I'm trying to see if I can show it right there. Kendra Scott. Absolutely gorgeous blue feather earring. That's amazing. Hopefully we get the match. Let's see. Um, I don't see, but this one. Oh, this one's also a Kendra Scott. This one is also marked Kendra Scott. And we do have the match. Oh, it's missing the ear hook, but that's okay. We Hopefully it's in here somewhere. But these are marked Kendra Scott. Right there, Kendra Scott. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that blue aqua color. So two pairs of Kendra Scott so far. Wait a minute, where did the match go to the Kendra? Do we not have the match? <gasps> no. Hold on. 
let's take a look. Let's see if we can find the match. That, ooh, this looks like sterling silver. We'll put that right there. Where is the match? No, did we not get the match to the Kendra earring? I wonder if this could be Kendra. Probably not. Um, oh, <gasps> we do, we do, we do, we do, guys. We have the other Kendra Scott. Okay, so we have two pairs of Kendra Scott earrings and a Tiffany necklace. We're winning. We're definitely winning. I'm sorry, Lindsay, but we're winning. <laughs> No, I don't know what she got. I just know what one of the pieces were. Okay. Um, this is Mart. Seven A four nine two five. Seven A four. I don't know what that means, but it is marked nine two five, which I do know. It's kind of a modernist piece. Super cool. It's a size seven. And that's sterling silver. So let's put the side of test. Okay. Maybe we'll find more Kendra. <gasps> this is Mart. Guys, is this what I think this is? <gasps> Guys, it's Mart Kenneth Lane. It is Mart Kenneth Lane. <gasps> Look how gorgeous. This is like carved turquoise. Probably resin, but who knows with Kenneth Lane. And we do have the match. This one's also Mart Kenneth Lane. We have gorgeous Kenneth Lane earrings. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited about this. Okay. And if you guys don't know, selling branded earrings is literally my favorite thing ever. I love branded good earrings. I'm not a huge fan of selling unbranded earrings. Actually, I don't really sell that many unbranded earrings, but I love selling earrings because they are so easy to list. Um, I just throw them up on my light box and uh, that's it. Um, this looks like sterling silver. So the, um, the clasp is a rolling pen. <laughs> you like the baking rolling pens like to cook with? Does that not look like a rolling pen? So these are little dainty little pearls, little rice pearls. So we'll test that. It looks like sterling, but it's not marked. All right. So we have a... Oh, I have seen these before. So this is made out of real Louis Vuitton, like, bags. Like, people repurpose the their handbags that are, like, damaged, worn. They can sell the leather, and people make jewelry out of them. Unfortunately, it looks like it is missing a couple rhinestones. But I could sell this maybe as a pendant. So Louis Vuitton, Kendra Scott, and Tiffany. I think we're going to win. All right, let's see. What else do we get? <laughs> I'm just kidding, um, Lindsay. I hope you get a really, really good box, too. Hopefully, it's their, her box is so good, too. It's going to be a tie. <laughs> but no, seriously, let us know who do you think won. Who do you think got... Is this another Tiffany piece? No. See, it matches that um, necklace really well. It does look like sterling, though. I don't see any maker's marks. Let's see. I do not see any maker's marks, so we will test that as well. Looks like we're getting a nice bit of sterling, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, I, I can't believe we're getting such good stuff. Okay, so this is a piece of lapis or sodalite, turquoise, and maybe carnelian. Really pretty little um, dangle earring with natural stones. Put that to the side. Um, hopefully we get the match. And this one does also, I'm not sure what that is. It feels like a stone. It's very cool to the touch. Put that to the side. All right. And then <laughs> this is an earring. My great aunt used to make, um, like pillowcases and dolls out of these and they always creeped me out. <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, let's see. I wonder if this could be Kendra with the leaf. It's not marked Kendra. We did get the match with that one. And I'm pretty sure we got this one as well, but I could be mistaken. Really pretty seed bead faceted. Um, this is craft. Um, this is also going to be, um, it's actually in good condition. So maybe I'll put that in a lot. Cause I don't think it's really worth listing myself by itself. Um, this looks like it could possibly be silver. I can't really tell. 
this right here, the silver chain. All right, I went ahead and untangled that. So this is marked with just a hang tag that says pure. Never heard of it before, but it's like this long silver tone interlocking link and silver tone chain necklace. So I'm gonna have to look into that. We got this little single earring. We got to this bracelet that I'm not sure if it's silver or not. Let's see. Nope, definitely not silver, but really pretty. Um, I love, love, love the colors on this tassel. And these are marble. These are not halites. I do believe these are marble beads. Absolutely gorgeous with the gray veining. And this really pretty purple, blue, turquoise tassel. So great little boho necklace there. Um, and then this was a major surprise. So it's like a little silver um, or gray faceted crystal or glass. And there's this tiny little hang tag and it is marked Chan Lu. Chan Lu. And then of course, 925 right there on the back. So we have a little Chan Lu 925 crystal necklace. I've never seen one that was like this with this like meshy ribbon, but, um, so I'm gonna have to look into that. I've only ever really gotten their wrap bracelets and I did get a longer necklace one time. So, all right. And then our last piece that I got out of the tangle is a little necklace marked nine to five. And it's also marked a bunch of other things. What does that say? No, K A one seven, seven, two, nine, two, five, Italy. Um, it does have, looks like a, maybe an adjustable cord so you can make it longer and it matches a bracelet, I think, right? So another piece of, and this is a little silver box chain too. And it has like this little aqua glass pendant. So super cute and sterling silver. All right, I'm going to zoom you. I'm going to lower you guys a little bit. All right. So hold on one second. All right, I went ahead and lowered you guys so it'd be a little bit easier to see. And then we did get this ear cuff, which I think I already showed you. All right, so next we have a hammered brass gold tone cuff bracelet. We have, oh, we got the match to this necklace or this um, earring. Get a little tongue tied. It is 1 a.m. Two, it's 2 a.m. actually. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. and I am filming a YouTube video. So I'm sorry if I trip over my words a little bit. I should be in bed. <laughs> um, let's see. Ooh, this is nice. So this is all wood. Ooh, and we have an earring. Ooh, this is a gorgeous earring too. Look at that. Gold tone with clear and a big teardrop glass fasted rhinestone in the middle. Gorgeous. No markings that I see. Put that to the side. And this looks like it could be a Chanlu or something along those lines. Oh, it's a Stella and Dot. So we have a little Stella and Dot. It's marked with a little hang tag. Really pretty. Okay, we're getting some neat brands. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh, it's a little kitty cat. Oh. I know I have a lot of people who love cats, so to figure out who who will want this. Look how gorgeous the little, it's mother pearl and rhinestones. And I don't see any maker's marks, but it's so cute. So cute. That might go to an auction. We'll see. We'll see if anyone claims it before it gets that far though. <laughs> okay. This is um, just silver tone little clip, but Tiffany actually made um, clips like this. So you have to check everything now guys. You really do. Oh, we got the match to this earring. And again, it very much so looks like Kendra, but I do not see any marks. So, um, especially since we got the other Kendra Scott, I would not be surprised if it was. Okay. Um, we have a little seed bead earring. We have a rhinestone adjustable bracelet. Um, what else do we have? This is really tangled, so we might... But we have an earring caught in here, that's why. So we have this little earring, quite boho with a little druzy. Interesting. <laughs> um, 
You never know what you're going to find in these boxes. That is for sure. Okay, so we have an un... Oh, no, it is marked. Oh, and I keep dropping it. The necklace is actually marked... Bobble bar. Okay, so this gold tone necklace with this um, dangling like spike, that's bobble bar. And this statement necklace is unbranded. And then we do have the match to that like brass um, earring. So we're going to put that to the side. So a bobble bar necklace, an unbranded necklace, and an earring. Okay, this is like wood. Yes, definitely wood. With a little gold tone tassel, very boho. Maybe I'll do like an all boho show or something on um, jewelry sale. Um, if you don't know, I do jewelry sales. Um, I'm going to start doing them every Sunday at 12 Eastern time. So if you're on the East Coast, 12 o'clock, um, 12 o'clock, if you be specific. Um, and I'm going to be doing jewelry shows. It's going to be mixed jewelry. So some sterlings, um, some 925 silver some costumes, some vintage, just some of everything. We did my very first sale last week, so that was quite exciting. Thank you, thank you to everyone who came and um, just said, come said hello, hung out for a little bit, shared your jewelry knowledge. This is um, probably going to go into a lot. Um, <clears throat> I really appreciate all of you guys and it made my first YouTube sale a success. Um, this is a gorgeous long dangle earring. Love that one. It reminds me of like a Kate Spade. Um, this one is not marked. We have that. Oh, look at this cute little elephant. Oh, he might be sterling. I don't see it. Oh, it is marked with um, is that a Coco Pelli? I can't remember. This looks like sterling silver though. It is marked 925 um, on the ear hook with a little hematite. So look out this cute little elephant. You can't see anything. I'm sorry. There we go. Look how cute the little elephant is. He is articulated. So his head moves. Um, but cute little 925 elephant. I hope we get the match to that. Um, and then we had a little safety pen. Not really sure what this goes to, but I'm going to close it so I don't stab myself. So 925. All right. What else do we have? We have a very long necklace. Is this silver? I don't think it's silver. It's very tarnished. That's why I'm like, maybe. I think it's just dirty though. No, it's definitely not silver. So this is just dirty. This is going to craft. Um, this is broken. That's going to craft. Um, these necklaces, I just don't do very well selling them. It's pretty. It's like a mustardy yellow gold color. Let's see, my cousin wants it. She likes this color, so she might like that. But this I prefer. Um, we have another one of these um, bracelets. This one has a B on it, and the other side says happy. So we have two of these now, I think. So those, I think, go together. So maybe we'll get more. So we'll put those to the side. It could be like a little set. This is on Mart. Put the side. We have a bead. All right, let's see. Ooh, this is pretty. This looks like a piece of maybe citrine or quartz has some inclusions in the stone so it doesn't look like glass to me it's a really pretty long gold tone necklace i like that a lot um, next we have a gold tone link necklace it is a toggle i do not see any maker's marks that's a nice little length little choker collarbone length necklace um again guys do not forget Lindsay is going to be posting her video right after mine so make sure to go and head over to her channel as soon as mine ends that one's pretty and we will all go over there and watch hers Ooh, this is a unmarked matte gold tone matte silver tone kind of reminds me of lucky brand even a little bit of madewell but mostly lucky brand um, we have that unmarked. We have this bracelet that is marked Skinny by Jessica Elliott. Skinny by Jessica Elliott. So it's a um, gunmetal silver Cuban link with a silver pleather or leather um, that is braided. 
And here's the maker's mark in case anyone is curious. It just says Skinny by Jessica Elliott. And that's it. So I will have to Google that. Never heard of that brand. That's the one thing about mystery boxes that's so much fun is you learn new things. This is a crazy long earring. Like this one is crazy. Okay. Um, we have a really cool ceramic bead, but it's um, just broken. So that's unfortunate. This is gorgeous. This might be a J. Crew. I know J. Crew does this style where it's um, a double sided stud. So I have to look into that. And apparently, one of my subscribers, I cannot remember who it was, I'm sorry, but um, someone said um, Dior, I think they said Dior does that too. So I'll put that in craft. Um, this one's a little cute little earring. Lots of earrings today. Ooh, this looks like it could be a J. Crew. This feather's a little bent, or a petal. There we go, we fixed that. Um, no marks, but I will Google lens it just to make sure. Put there. And then this earring got a little bent, but we can fix that as well. Make it look new, good as new. Um, and that is like faceted pink crystals. Really pretty. Okay, we have an ear cuff that is not smart. Gives me like fairy tale Cinderella bell vibes. All right, and then we have a gorgeous, I think we have the match to this one now. Seed bead chandelier, could be native or Mexican. Another dangle, a medallion, um, a Moroccan earring, and then we have the Diamonds International. If you come across the DI, that's Diamonds International, it's not Dior. A lot of people find it and they think it's Dior. It's not Dior, it's Diamonds International. They give them away for free on cruise lines, so they are not worth a whole lot, unfortunately. Because I find them quite often in boxes. So there must be a lot of people that go on cruises that donate their jewelry, I guess. Um, okay, this is all a not... Ooh, I found a gorgeous green crystal. Put that to the side. I forget what that goes to. We got the match to this earring. We got the match to this earring. I can't remember if we got that one or not. We did get this one. Um, this is the little anklet. It is a silver tone. It was $8 at a beach shop. Little um, starfish. Okay, we have these American Eagle, but unfortunately we are missing some of the studs on that. So we'll put that to the side. Maybe they're loose in here. So like there's one. There's a little stud. Okay, this is a gorgeous stretch bracelet. I'm checking it over for, mar for marks. Um, guys, if you don't know, stretch bracelets can be marked. Um, Loft and Benio Republic and Ann Taylor, they do mark some of their bra um, stretch bracelets. So this one's gorgeous. It is um, clear pink rhinestones. All right, so we have a hair clip. Not sure why we got that. Um, this one's stunning. This looks like another could possibly be J. Crew, but I don't see any maker marks. Pretty. We have that earring. I wonder if we got all of the earrings from like one person. Because they're all kind of like on the lines of like, like a Kendra. Like these are very Kendra. And like, you know. So I wonder if one person donated like their whole earring collection. These are cool. They remind me of Bobble Bar, but I don't see maker marks. This one is coming apart, so that's craft. We have that earring. We have another stud. This one reminds me of the Kate Spade one that I got not too, too long ago. Um, we have a little Jersey stud. Studs. We have a green calf hair. It is actually marked Rustic Cuff. Yay! Rustic Cuff does okay for me. Not the greatest brand, but it does, you know, get some attention. This is a green, um, I would assume real fur, because they do use real leather. And that's really cool. I've never seen the green one before. I like that. All right, so we have a door knocker earring. Okay, we have a mess here. Oh, we got the match, this gorgeous, gorgeous earring. And I think all of the stones are here. So yay. That one's pretty. Love that stunning earring. Okay. Um, this one's a really long one, and it is marked with a puffy heart, but that is it. I'm wondering if this is a belt. This is, like, crazy long. 
Yes, I'm thinking this is a belt. So, yeah, this is a belt. That's the side. All right, let's see. I want to see what this tiger's eye necklace is. I love tiger's eye, but we have to keep untangling some more. Um, unbranded cheetah print bracelet. It's cute. We have another cheetah print <laughs> bracelet. Again, I'm checking the insides for any markings. So, unmarked. Um, we have this black tassel earring. And then we also have this one, which I think we already got. Okay. Um, we have this earring. It's quite unique. This one is stunning. And this one must be where that... Oh, no. All the stones are there. This one's gorgeous. It has that... Um, like jelly belly, moon glow, lucite center. Maybe it's glass. I think it's lucite. Let's see. I think it's like lucite, but I don't know. It's gorgeous. I love the moon glow. So hopefully we'll be able to Google lens that and something will come up. That's there. I want to see these earrings because these earrings look really cool. Melrose and Market. These earrings do not look like they go together at all. These actually look like Kendra Scott earbacks. No, they're marked MJM. MJM. That's definitely not the Melrose. <laughs> um, these are blue cat's eye, silver tin balls, and faux pearl studs. So I will have to look into those, see which ones actually belong on there and which ones don't. And we have a silver tone bangle bracelet with an abalone shell inlay. It's pretty. Um, okay, let's, let's do some of this. We have more silver, it looks like. Let's see. Okay, so we have this little photo turquoise bracelet. Okay, and this is silver, and it says, I am love. I am something i am i can't figure out what it says um and then this is um just a little medallion it is marked um peace bomb and that's their logo and that's what it says peace bomb it is marked 925 let me find the clasp It is marked 925 on the clasp. And again, this is the pendant. It says, I am love. And I cannot read what the rest says. Super cute. And it's 925 silver. And we're going to test all the silver at the end. So we have another jersey. We have the match to the double-sided stud. We have the match to this earring. I feel like we're getting a lot of like boho jewelry. And then we got this crazy long, and I mean crazy long, this has got to be like, what, six inches long tassel. Okay, we got these gorgeous blue crystals and cat size, and I'll have to un fast forward through this as well. All right, I got that untangled, so let's start off with my favorite piece, which is this gold tone long necklace with these gorgeous tiger's eye beads absolutely stunning i love the tiger's eye i love tiger's eye and these are actually tiger's eye right here too these are tiger's eye the one in the middle is not the one on either side are and there's a nice chunk right here so really nice little tiger's eye necklace love that and then we have this little unbranded it is double strand it's a nice little layering piece but nothing you know crazy there um, this might be vintage. I'm not sure. This is gorgeous blue. Um, and these are like faceted, I would, what do you call that, briolette in cap beads. And it goes into like a cobalt, a clear, um, like a cat's eye. Just absolutely gorgeous. It's quite long. And it's one that you tie in the front. And these are just gorgeous blue, clear, and gray beads. Gorgeous. I love that one as well. 
this was going another surprise. This is a J. Crew. And it is a very long antique gold tone and faux pearl necklace. So that was very unique. I've never seen J. Crew that looks like this. I was thinking it was going to be like a 1928 or something. All right, so that's everything we pulled out. We have another one of those. We have that. We have this. This is another Kate's uh, Kendra Scott. I've had this, I believe. I'm pretty sure I've had this earring before, and I do believe it is Kendra Scott. It is a long, dangle, faceted earring. And it's so little, I don't see where they would mark it. So that's maybe why it's not marked. But we will Google Lens it just to make sure. I'll put it on the screen if that's Kendra or not. We'll put it right there and let it focus. And we'll we'll um we'll see if that's real. Okay. And then we have this. Oh, we had that. This is another one that feels like real stones, has a brass bead. Really cool and unique. Okay, this is a unbranded little another like briolette gold, orange matte gold craft Ooh, this could be a chin lu Let's see it's tangled whatever it is <laughs> um this chain looks like it could possibly be silver and it is it's mark 925 okay oh we got the match we got the match to this gorgeous little sodalite turquoise and carnelian i believe earring so yay and we got those so yay okay so these ones are good ones okay this is a no okay this looks like it could be a chan lu or at least a knockoff of a chan lu let's see okay so i'm i'm incorrect this is actually part of the bracelet it's just really tangled but the bracelet is marked mark mark marquette m-a-r-q-u-e-t so not Chin Lu, but they're really pretty beads, faceted, orange, gold. So I will have to look up that brand. Okay, we have that earring. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It's an earring. But um, that's quite unique. Um, okay, and this is marked 925 silver, and it is quite long. Um, it has a big knot right there, but this is marked 925. So we'll see if that's real. It's not magnetic. So that's a good sign. Um, this is Mart. Fuller Brush. F-U-L-L-E-R-B-R-U-S-H. Fuller Brush. It is a really nice little sand dollar matte gold tone. I do not see the matching one. But this one is marked Bobble Bar. This one is what goes with this with the moon glow so that means this bracelet is bobble bar so this is a bobble bar bracelet nice so maybe i can fix this i don't see the match though so we'll, we'll put put it right here to the side um and hopefully we get the match of this one this one's also really nice i don't see any maker's marks it's like a light aqua green gold tone stretch bracelet Really good stretch on it. We have another little faux turquoise bracelet. We have that one that looks like J. Crew. We have this awesome ring. Let's see. It is stamped 925. And that's it. It's just 925. So this is an awesome faceted. I'm not quite sure what that stone is. I at first I was thinking Moonstone, but it's definitely not Moonstone, so I'm not sure. It's a 7. It's about a size 7. I can tell you that right here. 6 and 3, 6 and a half. So, it's a nice one. We'll test it. Okay, we have this gorgeous Murano glass. It's not marked Murano, so we're just going to say Art Glass. And this is a size... Five and three quarters. So a nice little orange and red art glass ring. Okay, let's see what else do we have. We have that. We have this cool um bracelet. These are natural stones. I'm not sure which kind though. 
We have that. We have that. Okay, I don't see the sand dollar. Ooh, this is a gorgeous earring. Look at that. This reminds me of Joan Rivers. Look at that gorgeous green. Um, no maker's marks. But I will Google Lens it. Because that is just stunning. Alright, we'll put that to the side. Um, we have, oh, this is new with tags, but someone peeled off the sticker. Does anyone know where this tag is from? Let's check the back side. No maker's marks. Seems like a nice ring. Put to the side. Oh, we didn't, oh, we did get the match to this one. And it's gorgeous. And we'll Google lens that one as well. Okay. We have that. We have, this is quite the earring. Oh, it's a clip-on. So this is a clip-on. I, again, don't see any matches. Um, we have this one. I think we got the match to that. Yes, we did. Um, this one is gorgeous. This actually reminds me of a Stella and Dot necklace that I have. So maybe I'll put that to the side. Oh, we did get a watch. Um, this one's not marked. So not sure on the brand. So it's a hinge watch. Okay, we have a really, really tight, we have two of them, little bracelets. We have a ring. I actually really like the design. It is marked 925. Um, it's too small for me, so I'd say it's about a seven or so. Let's see. Yep, size seven. Size seven, 925 ring. We'll test that. We have a gratification um, bracelet. This is from, I think, it says Hobby Lobby or, yep, Hobby Lobby. Okay, we have another little natural stone stretch. We have the feathery druzy, which is a smart. No markings. Um, we have the match to this weird one. Please let me know if you know what that is, because I definitely don't. Um, we have this is going to craft. That is nasty. We have half. Oh, we have a Bambi earring. We have Bambi, but we don't have the other earring. Um, we have this blue feather. We have this bedazzly green one. This filigree one. We did get the match to this one, which again, I am like 99% sure this is Kendra Scott. I will try and put it on the screen if I was able to find it. Gorgeous. Um, not marked. Not marked anything. We did get the match to this one. And we did get this one. And that is it. That was my box. That was everything. Um, I'm actually really, really excited. Um, we got a ton of earrings. Look at all these earrings. Like, like these are all earrings. That's crazy. Um, a lot that I'm gonna have to match up. These ones might be one of my favorites that are unmarked, but I think they could be something. Okay, standouts. Um, before we get into the silver, these possibly Kendra hoops. These possibly Kendra dangles. The, oh no, we didn't get the match. The little elephant, um, little elephant. I wonder if um, Lindsay got the match because if she got it, I I need it, Lindsay. I need it. Um, the K um, Kenneth Lane, not KGL, but just straight up Kenneth Lane. The Mart Kendra. Oh, we didn't get the earring um, hook to this. Hmm. Okay, so Kendra, Kendra. Kenneth Lane, um, 925, possibly 925, these stunning, oh, I don't know where the match went, okay, I can't find the match, but we had that one, we had that one, and then we had these ones, so these ones might be my favorite earrings, out of the earrings, all right, so let's move those to the side, we're going to test these, all right, so I am back. I grabbed all the things that were marked sterling or things I think are sterling and we're going to test them really quickly. So let me wipe away the 
stuff that I tested earlier um, just to see those um, Tiffany um, necklace is, was still sitting there. So that's a great sign. So we're going to test this little ring. We're going to test it. Test it right where I had this one. So we have that one, then we had these rings. We actually got a decent amount of 925 rings, if they're real. Tested. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into testing. Okay, so this is sterling, this is sterling, this is sterling, this is sterling. So all four rings are sterling. Um, these are not, but these are, like I thought, um, this is sterling and this is sterling. This is not, this is these are not the Chico's, uh, um, the chain loop is, and so is the, um, the toggle. So, wow. And of course, let's not forget about the Tiffany, the Tiffany. Um, so this was an amazing box. So much silver. Let's just give a quick count of how many silver pieces we got. It was it's quite a bit. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think eleven pieces of sterling. Oh, twelve. Twelve pieces of sterling, unless I am missing something. But we got twelve pieces of sterling. One of which is Tiffany. One is Chan Lu, and the rest is just awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thread up. We also got some costume. We also got the J. Crew, the Rustic Cuff. We got that gorgeous tiger's eye. We got the um, glass ring. Um, what else did we get? We got this super cute little kitty. We just, oh, we got this gorgeous Alex and Ani, which I, I don't know if I showed the mark earlier. Let me see if I can find it. There's the mark. It's marked Alex and Ani. Really pretty. Um, yeah, I go in the Stella and Dot. Oh, and then we got Louis Vuitton. We got Louis Vuitton. So really, really, really fun, really great box. I hope Lindsay over at Lindsay Clark. Oh, 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 hold on. Bless the Kendra. Bless the Kendra. The Kenneth Lane. More Kendra. More possibly Kendra. More possibly Kendra. And then these gorgeous earrings that I am going to have to look into. So this was a really, really good box, y'all. Really good box. So let's go all head over to Lindsay over at Lindsay Clark, and we'll go and check out her video. Bye, guys. Please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Please leave a comment, and please come to my um, jewelry auction on Sunday, um, and that will be at 12 p.m. Eastern time. All right, guys. See you in the next one, and let's all head over to Lindsay. Bye, guys.